Do you know how many people still live in extreme poverty worldwide? 700 million. That's why ending poverty is a global yet challenging mission. China, the largest developing country in the world, has been fighting poverty for decades. More than 800 million people have been lifted out of poverty in the past 70 years, since the founding of the People's Republic of China. In 2015, China set a goal of lifting all its citizens out of poverty by 2020. There were over 50 million people living in poverty at the time. That sounds almost impossible in its ambition. Above all, China is an agriculture country. There's still a large number of people living in poverty in its extensive rural areas. These rural areas face three common challenges. What modern industries can be introduced? Productions and products need to be based on local conditions. How to make profit? Costs and returns must be carefully evaluated. Where to find qualified workers? Younger people have left to seek jobs in the cities, while locals lack motivations for pre-job training. So, how can China achieve the ambitious goal? The answer lies in its targeted poverty alleviation strategy. Be practical, be adaptive, and be scientific. These approaches are the guiding principles. The Chinese government has also adopted a system to offer sustainable help. The system is designed to motivate people to actively engage in economic activities. For example, people who receive financial support from the government are required to make profits through running their own businesses. Each village is supported by a team from the local government. The team gives advice and assistance to help the villagers. Let's take a look at a case study. Here is Kocha village in northwest China's Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. It was once an impoverished place. In 2019, the village was removed from a list of villages officially classified as poor. Why? It has developed a tourism industry based on its rich natural and cultural attributes. Desert, wetlands, and golden poplar forest. These are natural treasures that have been used to attract tourists. The service industry boomed, increasing local employment rate. Last year, the average per capita income for the 234 poor households in the village reached nearly 10,000 yuan. Local government says the chance of people slipping back to poverty remains as low as 0.65%. The successful experience of Kocha village has encouraged others to follow. By the end of 2019, there was 5.51 million people living in poverty. Among them, 430,000 people are living in these mountainous areas. The elderly, sick and the handicapped account for a large portion of the population. The sudden outbreak of the COVID-19 has also brought new challenges. How can China reach its goal of ending poverty by the end of this year? MPC deputies and the top political advisors will give their solutions at this year's two sessions. China and the world will keep an eye on the policies enacted.